Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta episode two ratings. And as you guys know, the premiere episode dropped 100,000 viewers from last season, right? Well, we've dropped 96,000 more viewers, you guys, because Martel Holt is not a draw to the show. Uh, so we went from the premiere episode of last week of having 834,000 viewers to now having a grand total of 738,000 thousand viewers a loss of 96,000 viewers and it dropped two digits uh in the demo as well the premiere had 0.28 in the demo and it is now uh 0.26 however it was still the number seventh what most watched show of the night um and the only things that were ahead of it were the hockey nhl um playoffs uh nascar 90 day fiance the other way 90 day fiance the tell all another nascar uh so so that was uh the other items but but the problem is this real housewives of atlanta is a sinking ship which i told you guys right i told you guys and having martel at the forefront to destroy another show is not a good look right i uh, seeing him argue with women and you know lying about not dming kenya at all only to check his phone and realize he did dm Ken kenya like it was just too much and then the back and forth whatever this battle is uh you know him getting spicy with the women and then talking crap behind todd tucker's back calling him an opportunist but doesn't have the same energy in person so i don't know if this is going to be a thing uh where martel is going to be on the show more throughout the season i'm presuming that he is uh but i don't think it's going to help the ratings you guys because those of us who watch love and marriage huntsville as you guys know i review love and marriage huntsville as well we do not see it for martel we do not see it for Martel at all. He is a manipulator. He is a cheater. He is a scan, a scammer uh, to the highest order. Like, it's, it's just all a train wreck, you guys. It is all a train wreck. And he is desperate to still hold on to any type of reality TV fame, even if it means being in a fake PR that was exposed relationship with Sheree Whitfield that pretty much you couldn't even keep up that act because you're still messing with your side chick, right? You can't even keep up a PR relationship because you're, um, you have a side chick who has nothing to lose that will expose you day in and day out and you're stuck. Uh, but you have nobody to blame but yourself. These are the consequences that happen uh, when you cheat on your wife, when you have a baby on your wife and think that you can still have anything your own way because of your own narcissism, right? I uh, so there is that. All right, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.